welcome back to my channel. Today I am not doing a vlog, I am doing something a little different. Um, bullet journaling has always been one of my biggest hobbies, so today I'm going to be showing my plan with me for December in my bullet journal. So this is my first plan with me, so just bear with me if the filming is a little bit um, not the best, because right now I'm looking and I can see that my head is popping out. My camera also cuts out a bit, but um, we're gonna do the best that we can with what we have. So I started with my title page for December. I used a cup to trace the circle shape to make a wreath kind of looking thing for December. I used my Tombow Fudenosuke pen to write December in the middle of a circle, and then I kind of flipped back to my November spread to see what I do, because I just don't remember all the pages, and then I moved on to my monthly layout. So for my monthly layout, I started with the actual box dates, I don't know what to call them, but they're like the little squares, and each square is six dots by six dots. Then I lettered in December, alternating red and green mar um, Tombow dual brush pens because I felt really extra, and then basically just numbered in my calendar from 1 to 31. Then my camera cuts out, but uh, I hope you don't mind that much, I was literally just filling in the numbers. For the deco next to my monthly layout, I decided to do a Christmas tree with some presents underneath. Um, yeah, it's very simple. I kind of drew, drew cubes with like the ribbon on it. I'm not the best artist, but you can see what I'm doing. Um, along the top of the monthly calendar where there's a bit of space, I did some rainbow string lights to kind of get into the holiday mood and also add a bit more color other than red and green just because I was kind of getting sick of it in the middle. Um, and then afterwards, I lettered in Walking in a Winter Wonderland on the side. It's not my best calligraphy work, but you know, I was, I'm still practicing. And then afterwards, I used my Tombow dual brush pens to color in everything. I also used my Tombow Fudenosuke pen to write fa la 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 like the end of the Deck of the Hall song and I also used my white Sakura jelly roll, I think that's what it's called, to add in little snowflakes on the tree just cause it was getting a little boring and I wanted some variation in color. Then I used my Pentel Energel pen to mark in the important dates of this month and all the times that I have exams. So next I am working on my expense tracker just so I can track what I spend my money on obviously. Um, it's really simple, I basically just have four categories, date, item, price, and method of pay because I like to keep track of when I use my debit card, when I use cash, etc, etc. After that, I decided to move on to my mood tracker for the month. This month I decided to do little ornaments for each day and then every day I would color in a corresponding color like happy is like a really light color, stuff like that. I say etc a lot in this video, I don't know why. But anyways, yeah, I'm working on trying to make every shape a little different and fun just so I can be a little more creative and then that's basically it for the mood tracker page. Next, I moved on to my gratitude log, which I find really important to me just because I need to be thankful for everything that I have in my life, obviously. I used a Tombow dual brush pen to write in gratitude log on the bottom, and then basically just numbered in 1 to 31 so I can write beside it every day something that I am grateful for. After that, I moved on to my habit trackers, and for my habit trackers, I basically created three mini calendar layouts to track three of my habits. I really only have three, I don't have that many. And I used one of the stickers, actually, that I have a friend who has a sticker shop, and I used one of her stickers in the Habit Tracker page, so, um, yeah, I thought it was really cute. If you want to order stickers, I will link the shop down below. Uh -oh. 
My last spread for this month is my YouTube posting schedule because I am planning to do Vlogmas so I want to kind of keep track of what goes into each video so that it's not too repetitive for you guys. So I basically had my posting and then I wrote down every day I write. I will write basically what I want in each vlog and then I have a goal section because I like to set goals for my YouTube videos and make sure that I'm kind of progressing and not moving back obviously. Here is my final flip through for my bullet journal for the month of December. I will definitely be making more bullet journal videos in the future. I just kind of want to build up more months before I show you more of my bullet journal. I mean, I really think you should. Yeah.